Howdy howdy, this is Mr. Potter. What we're going to talk about in this video is our performance task for this Unit 6. So we're going to be talking about the Internet and society, and this is going to be a little bit different from what we've done before. Keep in mind that you're the expert now. Even though you may not feel like you're an expert, you actually know more than probably 80% of the world population when it comes to what networks are. Keep in mind that you're not just talking about the hardware aspect like we've talked about with routers and with network cabling, but we've also talked about the internet protocol and the transfer control protocol, and we've talked about the uh, hypertext transport protocol. So we've talked about a lot of different things that you understand a lot about the internet now. And so what you need to do is you need to take this, turn it around, and you're going to write a speech. It's a very short speech where you're going to show someone who doesn't know as much as you about several issues. And I've got three issues here, but if you want to bring up another issue that you feel strongly about, of course your teacher will listen to your choices. But if it's hard to come up with a topic, I suggest you look into these issues. You look at net neutrality, look at internet censorship, computer and network surveillance. All of these are topics that are very timely. They uh, come up quite a bit in the news every so often. And so it'd be really good if you kind of boned up on this and imagine you were trying to explain this to someone who wasn't in our class. How would you explain these topics in such a way that they would understand the importance of your position on this, either for or against whatever your position happens to be as you do the research on these topics? Now, keep in mind, when you're talking about all of these topics, some of the things you should be thinking about are packets or TCP or IP or you should be thinking about address protocols. Or you should be talking about DNS, domain name service, or HTTP, the hypertext transport protocol. Um, all of these things, you know, and, and hardware. All of these things are, we've talked about over the past couple of weeks, all of these things are pertinent to these issues. So you can take your knowledge of these things and come up with a little bit of research to come up with a really good topic. Now keep in mind, we're talking about a flash talk. So we're talking about something that's going to be a two to three minute speech, but it's going to be a written paper. Now, because we're talking about writing a speech, it's okay to use more of the spoken language. You don't have to use the formal language. Um, as long as you're not using idiosyncratic languages, like you're not using LOL or other approximations like that, should be fine. Uh, you know, just use normal talking speech. But keep in mind that there are three things that you need to do. You need to make sure that you explain the topic or issue that you're talking about. The topics that we're talking about, net neutrality, internet censorship, they're very broad topics. And so what you need to do is kind of focus in on one topic. You need to give the societal impacts because people don't care about the thing as a whole. They want to know how it affects them. And you need to make sure that you give an informed opinion. And that's the whole idea behind the research. So when we talk about references, our research, I'm really looking for at least three different types of research. Um, one of the things that I'd like you to use is I'd like you to take a look at the Wikipedia article. You can basically type net neutrality into a Wikipedia search and there's going to be an article on it. There's going to be an article on internet censorship. There's going to be an article on computer and network surveillance. I also suggest that you look at a YouTube video, see how someone else is presenting this material, see if you agree or disagree with them. Use the facts that they present or use arguments that work well against those facts. And the third thing you're going to do is you're going to look at an article that's less than a year old. And when you're doing this, I actually suggest that you look on Google, but check the news tab when you're searching for net neutrality. And you're going to get, instead of just web pages about it, you're actually going to get articles from newspapers and magazines. And try and choose one that's less than a year old because this really does need to be timely. It needs to deal with societal impact. Now, once you've done that, you're going to have to turn in your speech to turnitin.com. Now, you're going to type up your paper using the Google Drive, but instead of sending it to a PDF to your teacher, you're actually going to go to the website turnitin.com. And I want to show you what that looks like. So I'm logged in here as a student. 
and I'm going to go ahead and enroll in a class. Now your teacher is going to give you information on how to enroll in this class. So I've got my course number 11263331. This is for my class for this school year. And I've got the password, which I'm going to give out in class. I'm going to hit submit. And now I'm going to be a part of this class. This is my Fundamentals of Computer Science class. So when I click on this, it's going to give me one option, and that's this Performance Task 6, this paper right here. So I've got the start date, I've got the due date, and along with information that I can post the grades on. I've got a button here called Submit. So when I'm ready to submit my paper, I'm going to click Submit. It's going to give me information, my first and last name, the title of the paper that I'm trying to submit, and I'm going to choose from Google Drive. So I'll click Choose from Google Drive. I'll make sure I log in as me. And then I'm going to have my Google Drive paper that I've created, my document. And I'm going to highlight it, hit Select, and hit Upload. Okay. Now I need to make sure I'm doing this, so I'm going to say this is going to be my Flash Talk about performance task six. I'm just using this as a title, but I need to have some title and I'm going to upload this. I'm going to see it over here. It's actually going to be processing this. It's going to give me information about that. Now, keep in mind that I've got this word count. If you're talking about a two to three minute speech, then you're talking about something that should be 300 to 400 words. It shouldn't be very long. It may only take up a page to a page and a half but you're going to be submitting this through this program. You're going to get a digital receipt, which you can print off. That way, if your teacher says that you didn't turn it in, you've got your proof that you did. And this is going to be subject to our usual deadline, where it's going to be due anywhere on Earth the Sunday before we return to class next week. So you've got your performance task to work on. You've got a little bit of research to do. Your teacher is going to give you a couple of worksheets to help you with your selecting of your issue, documenting your references, as well as a rubric so you can see how this paper is going to be graded. Good luck, and I'll see you in class. Once again, this is Mr. Potter. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.